Hi, my name is Tammy Miller. In this video, we're going to learn to classify polar solvents as either protic or aprotic. Once we have determined that a solvent is polar, we need to classify it as either protic or aprotic. We're going to start with protic solvents. In a protic solvent, it will have protons that can be donated to the solution. The protons are usually attached to an oxygen atom to form a hydroxyl group. The oxygen is more electronegative than the hydrogen. Therefore, the hydrogen can be released. Alternatively, these protons can also be attached to a nitrogen to form an amino group. Again, the nitrogen is more electronegative than the hydrogen. Both hydroxyl and amino groups can hydrogen bond with other hydroxyl and amino groups. Also, because of the electronegativity, the hydroxyl or amino group can release that proton into the solution. For aprotic solvents, they do not have any protons that can be donated to the solution. An aprotic solvent has no protons that are attached to an oxygen or a nitrogen atom. This means that these aprotic solvents cannot hydrogen bond and cannot release protons or donate protons to the solution. Let's practice classifying our polar solvents as either protic or aprotic. For ethanol, when we look at ethanol, we see that ethanol does have a hydrogen that is attached to an oxygen. The oxygen pulls for electron density, making this polar. And because of that, the hydrogen can be released into the solution due to the hydroxyl group. Our second one, dichloromethane, has hydrogens that are attached to a carbon. Because these hydrogens are not attached to an oxygen or a nitrogen, this is an aprotic solvent. In methylamine, we have hydrogens that are attached to a nitrogen. In this case, the hydrogens can be released into the solution due to the attachment to the nitrogen. Therefore, this is a protic solvent. Our final solvent is acetone. In acetone, we do have hydrogens. But again, these hydrogens are attached to carbons. Because they're attached to carbons and they are not attached to an oxygen or a nitrogen, this is an aprotic solvent. Now that we have determined how to see if solvents are protic or aprotic, we can move forward with our organic chemistry and learn where these solvents could be used.